it never even occurred to me that there would have been a cartoon where Mickey Mouse was in blackface. That just doesn't make any sense to me. And then I watched Mickey's melodrama and it turns out that this is something that actually happened in 1933. So it's definitely a product of its time. It does incorporate racial stereotyping. We can't get away from that. And the animation itself is actually really well done. It's a well, it's directed by Wilfred Jackson, and of course we have um, Walt Disney as, as Mickey Mouse. We also have Pinto Colvig uh, as Goofy, Marcelita Garner as Minnie, uh, Billy Bletcher as Horse Horse, Co Horse Collar, and Elvia Allman as Clarabelle. We have a great cast, and they're actually putting on a stage play of Uncle Tom's Cabin, and. The way it's animated, I think, is brilliant. The way they've animated the staging and the sets and the props and everything. The costumes the characters are wearing. You can tell they're performing in a play. And I think it's really effectively done. And visually, aside from the blackface, it's actually pretty compelling. And it does also beg the question, is because they're racially stereotyping, are they portraying these characters in a racist way? Or are the scenes they are performing a little bit questionable? Because Uncle Tom's Cabin is actually an anti-slavery novel, but there are many cartoons that interpret this, and the way they represent certain characters from the novel definitely comes across as racist. And it, it, it is. Are the characters being racist, or are they playing racist interpretations of characters? I don't suppose it really matters too much, because either way, whichever is the case, this is what this cartoon is presenting. And I thought, okay, they're going to do this. It's going to be a little bit weird, but it's not going to be horrific. And then Mickey Mouse blacked up, to be quite frank. And honestly, I mean, it's very effectively done. You can tell, you can tell that that's what he has done. Um, so I have to give him credit for decent animation, I guess. But needless to say, it's very awkward, um, very well animated, but really uncomfortable. Um, it is definitely worth watching from a historical perspe perspective, from an analytical perspective. Is it entertaining? Well, as I said, I love the way the staging is done. I love the set designs. I think visually it comes across very well. That is entertaining. But it becomes more creepy than anything else. Worth watching for the right reasons. But in 1933, I expect it was released for the wrong reasons. <laughs>